guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are doing a makeup look inspired by that thing you're seeing over there right at the top left corner of the screen that's actually a hair scrunchy uh, pin something something but basically it's a hair accessory and as you can see it has beautiful beautiful colors and it only has two colors which is navy blue and some shade of gold looks like gold you know some people might argue that it's a different color but to me it looks goldish sort of um so basically i'm just trying to do my brows and i've just used a spoolie and a black pencil and i've also used my usual ailey girl pro conceal concealer in the shade phone so i'm just brushing the that out okay basically i've brushed the concealer out and then for the top part i'm not using the concealer i'm using a foundation but a foundation that is slightly lighter than my normal skin tone and i'm just using the l'oreal true match foundation i got the shade 8c which was not my actual real shade because it's a really really cool tone and then now we're going in with um concealer just to use the concealer as an eyeshadow primer and i'm using the Maybelline Super Stay Concealer in the shade Honey and I've just applied it all over my eyelids so this is going to make sure that the eyeshadow stays on and then I'm going to go in with that grayish blackish shade it's not completely black black it's just like a smoky shade like a grayish black and then I'm just going to apply that like I want to do a halo as you've seen from the beginning of the video I want to do a halo um cut crease somewhat cut crease and then i've just mixed the black shade with a little bit of blue and i'm just going to blend that out to create a halo effect uh, so now i'm just going to like put the blue in the outer corner and then also in the inner corner because i really want like a real halo effect and then now at the center i'm just going to like dab in a little bit of concealer and i'm also going to dab in a little bit of um glitter glue uh yeah so basically i didn't use even concealer for this look i just used because i just wanted things that are going to blend into each other it was not a proper proper cut crease and then now we're going to take that golden color somewhat gold and i'm just going to apply it basically where i did not apply anything at the right at the center of the eyeshadow of, of the blue eyeshadow so i'm just dabbing it in and then i remember i also put some yellow glitters on top of that and but i it's like I, I lost most of my footage i don't know what happened to it but as i was editing i think i realized that i had lost some footage i deleted some stuff from my uh, phone so the footage was lost so now i'm just going to blend out that black not black the blue dark blue you know i actually mixed the black and the blue to create a navy blue because um I didn't have a navy blue shade in any of my palettes navy blue is not a color that most eyeshadow palettes make so i had to mix like the the black and the blue to create navy blue so as for the gold i've also applied it in the inner corner of my eye and then now we're going to do eyeliner and i'm just using this black liquid liner this from the uh, yeah this black liquid eyeliner that acts as an eyelash glue also at the same time so i'm just gonna apply that and create a wing because i feel like this look would look really naked without a wing and then after that we are going to also put on some false lashes as i said that is also a glue so i've put on my false lashes as you can see they are very uh, minimalistic sort of and then i'm going to mix my two foundations that i absolutely love which is the clinic even better foundation and that's the shade pecan i usually mix it with that l'oreal true match uh, that is not my actual shade for the pecan it's my actual shade uh, but it's a bit too red and the l'oreal too, too much that i have is a bit too cool so i'm going to mix the two and i'm going to create like a, at least a shade that i can work with i also love the consistency of the l'oreal too much foundation the consistency is just perfect and for the, the clinique even better i love it for its coverage it's a full coverage foundation and i love that that's why i normally mix the two and yeah as you can see the color is not so badly off um yeah it actually kind of blends into my neck the tones are still reddish but 
yeah it does blend into my neck and then now we're going to use concealer and i'm using the maybelline fit me concealer that's the shade caramel i'm using it for my uh to highlight the areas that i want highlighted which is my under eyes below where i'm tapping which is actually below my lips and above my lips just to remove any extra shadows that i have and then i'm also going to use it on my nose on the bridge of my nose and also just above my eyebrows like on my forehead then i'm just applying a, a powder like to set it and i'm using the maybelline uh, fit me powder in the shade cappuccino to set that now we're gonna do our lips i normally feel like lips are the hardest even more than eyeshadow i don't know if i'm the only one who normally feels that but i normally feel like lips normally put so much pressure on me because if they backfire it's it's a disaster so i'm just going to like uh outline my lips and over here i think i was just i felt like i looked like a puppet or something so i'm going to like outline it with a black eyeshadow don't use a black eyeshadow or i mean don't use a black pencil to line your lips if you know that you do not blend out your lips well if you don't blend them that well use a brown one because this usually uses a lot of blending but the results are usually so worth it and then i've just used a lipstick that actually looks like a foundation but it's a lipstick which is the shade amazonian uh it's the maybelline super stay in the shade amazonian so i'm just gonna blend that out with a black pencil and we are going to get something that looks like this i'm sort of just trying to create a gradient look and then i'm going to use the maybelline sensational lipstick and i'm just going to like smack that <laughs> together and then now we are going to cover it with the maybelline lifter gloss which is the shade crystal which is like it has like brownish goldish crystals in it so now that we have done as you can see the lips are super super neutral almost look as if i've not applied anything on them now we're going to apply um this lip and cheek color by crayola absolutely love it it has a really nice shimmer and it blends so well and then we're gonna do a slight nose contour using a bronzer shade and then we are almost done i believe once i blend out that nose and then powder my face using my black opal setting powder i think will be good to go as you guys can see that 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 makeup inspiration was really cool because i don't think i'd have come up with you know such makeup by myself i really fear blacks and blues they're really tough to work with but it did not come out so badly for navy i think i tried so i'm just using my usual highlighter and that's the nyx hourglass in the shade golden hour and that is the final effect <laughs>